All right, guys, we got episode 12, our uh, highly anticipated fight with Colby Covington. Um, arguably a better wrestler than Kamaru. So, well, I wouldn't say better. I think Kamaru's a better wrestler, but uh, Colby emphasizes wrestling more, in my opinion, in fighting him. I'm going to show you guys kind of where we're at in terms of star ratings. Yeah, we see we have takedowns of five stars, but we can't take anyone down. Um, we're gonna try and max out our health uh, stuff just because this is this kind of gets important as you get older that you have the stamina um, but yeah let's uh, I think we're ready to fight Kobe coming to 18 and 3 here we go Coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Ready. Ready to fight? Go ahead and skip the entrances again. Uh, right, so here we go with round it's one. not a big deal. Welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this on the Gonna have to watch for the takedown. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> we might submit him. I'm gonna try and submit him early, honestly, just because I don't feel like doing I don't feel like having this whole excuse me. Whole fight on the ground. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look from the try to use Brown and Pound to open up submission opportunity. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, going back to the uppercut, well, nearly connected. Oh, wow. Oh. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad. But now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. We're going to go for a submission as soon as we block that transition. All right, here we go. Let's get a first round sub against Colby. wonder if he's going to put a MAGA hat on after this. <laughs> Maybe we'll get an invite to the White House if we beat him. This one's gonna be real close. We got it then. Yeah, get out of here, Colby. You're no real competition. <laughs> Shocked the world. Everyone was hyped for it, but we make light work of Mr. Covington. He can't hang. None of these guys can hang with us. I really wish UFC gave you the option to go up two weight classes. We could be fighting guys like Rob Whitaker, Izzy. You know, some heavy hitters, Paulo Costa. Um, in terms of upping the difficulty, I think once this series is over, I'm going to do a heavyweight series at Legendary. Um, just because, one, it's more exciting, you know, bigger knockouts. And two, um, with Legendary difficulty, you're bound... Oh, I'm going to skip this. Y'all know he's going to raise my hand. Move forward, we can skip it. Um, but back to what I was saying. I think we're going to do a, a heavyweight uh, series, Legendary Difficulty. Just because on Legendary Difficulty, you're bound to lose. You know, you might lose, you know, you could lose a couple times or you could lose a lot. And uh, in, in the heavyweight division, I think records are... You know, no one's making it out of the heavyweight division undefeated. Um, and I think it'd be some cool matchups. You know, fighting guys like Stipe, Nganu, Derek Lewis, even guys like Volkov. Um, you know, that it's not the deepest division, but it, it has some big names. And I think that'd be a, a entertaining series. So, yeah, that's what we'll probably be doing after this. Um, 
So if y'all are interested in that, consider subscribing. Or uh, just come back in a, in a month and see if the series has started or not. Alright, do we get the rivalry fight with Masvidal? For some reason, I doubt it, but that would be awesome. He was... Ooh, Jack Hermanson took the belt from Uriah Hall, who took it from Whitaker, I believe. Where's Jorge at? He was seven last time. Okay, so he's all the way up to five. We have beat one through four. He's the only logical option, right? And he's a rival. Oh, <laughs> Usman too. Uh, Masvidal's only getting older. All right, I'm gonna do this fight really quickly. I'm gonna go straight into the fight. We're gonna submit Usman first round, and uh, maybe fit in a third fight in this episode, and hopefully get Masvidal. All right, see you fight week. UFC welterweight division title. All right, guys, we got Usman fight number two. Obviously, can't get the fastest submission in UFC history. Uh, that's Oleg Tankarov, I think is how you say his name. He got a submission in six seconds. Um, There's rumors that that fight was rigged, though. I'm just trying to rock him, and I'm going to take him down. And, uh, okay, this works. He's going to take us down, and we're going to submit him. I want that fight with Masvidal, and frankly, Usman. Other than his wrestling, is you know, kind of an easy fight. First fight we had was hard, um, but now that we know what we can do, Close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponents. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue. To rain down the opponents that are move out of harm's way, the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to We need to get that transition if we're gonna end this in the first round. But Usman is not having it. Alright, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the Fair fight enough. back to the feet, and we are back underway. 27 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And now he's got yep, that tosses and there you go. We'll see Back on the ground. I mean, right into side control. Gonna play it smart and we're gonna submit him. So three it's a game plan. Come on, transition. Busy and There's just one. Busy but one more. more. To keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches. There's to two. Or South Choke. Let's get it. Here it is. Oh, shoot, my finger slipped. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. We got it. Easy. Get out of here, Usman. You're washed. <laughs> As Colby Covington would say, fake, Marty fake news, when <laughs> even though Covington's a clown, uh, we can agree with that sentiment that Usman uh, is a little overrated, at least in terms when it comes to us fighting him. In real life, definitely not. I think he's underappreciated in real life. Um, you know, he fights a little boring style, but it's part of the game and he's one of the one of the greatest of all time in my opinion but uh in terms of this game you got to be flashy or you got to be technically sound and you know he's technically sound but he's not flashy and 
I think we have we we have both of those factors, so it's easy to beat him. All right, we're not taking a fight unless it's Jorge. No, I mean we will have to if that's if if we don't get him, but I'm hoping. Big names we haven't fought yet: Jorge, Gilbert Burns, Leon Edwards, Michael Chiesa. Both of the Diaz brothers, um, but I think Jorge is the clear, the clear-cut choice, especially with him being, you know, the the highest-ranked guy that we haven't fought yet. It's our fifth title defense, I think. Oh, it just said that I didn't peep. Style Bender. Izzy won his title back. Love to see it. Mark Diakisi, however you say that. I'm tired, he's a lightweight fighter. Fight offer Jorge Masvidal. Nope, not fighting Asker. Give me Jorge. Jorge. Oh my goodness. No, I want Jorge. <laughs> Give me freaking Jorge Masvidal. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding. One more, one more. Come on. Shit. <laughs> okay, that'll be it for episode 12. We got number one contender. I don't know why they didn't give us him first, but I don't know what's going on with Jorge Masvidal, but he's going to retire soon. I want to fight him. I'm pretty sure we're rivals with him. Oh, he's all the way down here. Yeah, I mean, you can see right there, bad relationship. We should be rivals. Um, might never fight him. I don't know. We they offered us Askren, Nick Diaz, Wonder Boy, and RDA. Um, I don't know, but yeah, that'll be it for episode 12. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in episode 13. We'll fight RDA again, number one contender. Um, yeah. All right. Peace.